I'm, it's Zoe, and I'm back with a video of what it is like to care for 10 pets. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get into it. So over here I've got more pelleted food. They're water and then crickets. So I'm going to jump right into it. Ignore the messy sink. We were, uh, cooking some cookies today. But, uh, so what I first like to start out doing is I will let, let down some of my tortoise's pellets. Uh... That's just what makes it easier for him to eat and digest, but I can't open this with one hand, so I will show you once it's in. So I just pour about 15 to 20 of these pellets in there. They, uh, he eats them with his salad. They're just there because he does digest some of these. They're good for him. It's just got extra calcium. So I let those soak for a little bit. And next I will be doing his salad. And I just realized I said his in the last couple of cl clips. Uh, it's actually a girl. So I like to empty out Brooke's salad. And I will put some romaine, lettuce, and spring mix in here. And I will also add those wetted down pellets over there. So yeah, I'm getting to that now. So she, ha she has her spring mix. And I'm currently going to dump or pick up these pellets and put them on the top. This is basically uh, what she eats in a day. She's kind of new, so she didn't eat a whole lot yesterday. She was a little bit stressed, which is imaginable for a tortoise. So I'm not going to use all these pellets. I just don't put too many. But yeah. Uh, just a quick disclaimer. This is not her cage. She lives outdoors. But it's going to get down to 50 degrees tonight, so I put her inside a temporary uh, 20 long just for tonight. It's going to be nice and warm tomorrow. So this is my tortoise, Brooke. Uh, she is a Russian tortoise. And this is her temporary cage. She is currently on Aspen and Cocoa Fiber. She's got some Care Fresh down there. But yeah. So next I'm going to be doing my crickets. Uh, one of these is going to be for the dragons and the leopard geckos. And this is going to be for my chameleon. Uh, the chameleon gets multivitamins every other day. So I'm just going to be sprinkling some of that, or maybe a lot of that, but, so it's like a greenish color, gray-green. So yeah, and then I'm going to be dumping my about 10 crickets in there, and I will see you guys in a second. So after that, I just give the crickets a good old shake, and probably now they're covered in calcium, and I'm going to Casper. So this is my veiled chameleon Casper, uh, the lighting's not doing too well, but sometimes he will cup feed sometimes, he will not. Yeah, he doesn't look like he will today. So sometimes I'll just like pour him on the log. Sometimes I'll pour him on the... Like he's already eaten a lot today, so I don't know if he will eat. But he might, he might not. Uh, he doesn't like to eat on camera, so... But yeah, there's the crickets. And there's Casper the Veiled Chameleon. Little focus, there we go. But yeah. Next, I empty out my hedgehog's food and water. He uh, he normally gets he normally gets uh his food changed every two days. But just for purposes of this video, I'm going to be showing you how I change. After that, I pour out his water, and once again, sorry about the sink. But yeah, and then I fill up his water about three fourths of the way up. You know, a little more than that. Nothing too interesting, just changing the hell we, my hedgehogs. After that, I feed him his cat food, high protein cat food, and the doors, the latch is going to close. Hold on. So that looks to be enough for tonight. And I also, uh, as a treat, I sometimes will give him freeze dried mealworms, so give me a second. And I'm pouring uh, about 10 freeze dried, oh, that's a little much, but he'll eat them. But yeah, and then I put that in his cage, and hopefully he will eat. Soon enough, he will come out to eat. Uh, this is his cage. He's actually in his igloo right now. You can kind of see him. I don't know. But yeah, that's Levi, and that's his house. Next, I clean and change my leopard geckos and my bearded dragon's water. The tortoise, uh, he doesn't get changed today because she didn't make a mess, and I already soaked her today. She doesn't necessarily drink from her bowl. So, 
She's a tortoise, for crying out loud. So that's the dragons. And that's the leopard geckos. I just forgot that I didn't do the dragons and the leopard geckos for the crickets. Oopsie. So, they're getting their crickets. The dragons always have salads available to them as well. They already have some in their cage, so I'm not including that in this video. So now I just put the crickets into the dragon's cage. She probably is going to go right for it, like always. But yeah, that's they have some omnivore mix, which is just uh, mushed up food. And trust me, uh, they all get along. I have three females and a male. Uh, that one's a female as well. There's a female, there's a female, and Chomp, my head honcho, is currently asleep. So these four will go to the two leopard geckos. They've already eaten their mealworm, mealworms today. So I'll show you them. It's almost nighttime, so they're probably going to be awake. The uh, bell albino, the one closest to us, is Narnia. And the golden one in the back is Lizzie, the one who's trying to eat the cricket. See if I can get a clip of her eating. She, they might not, the, uh, the baby might not be hungry. She might be. Yeah. Oh, uh, she dropped. And now I give my, uh, my dog her food and water. She's not here, but once again, just for purposes of this video. So, yeah. Once that is done, I will move on to feeding my frogs and my betta fish. So, my frogs get their Zoomed Aquatic Frog Food. They usually go straight for it, so. They're not. They're just like a fish to eat. They don't really do anything. They don't hunt it down. It's just pellets. So, yeah. Zoomed Aquatic Frog and Tadpole Food. Okay. So. He gets, oh, that was too many. But he gets his pellets. And yeah. And then I move on to spraying my chameleon's cage and his plants. So then I spray the chameleon himself. He doesn't like it that much, but. And I just spray all throughout the cage his moss and his ferns at the bottom. And yeah. Also at night, I turn off any... UVB or heat lamps that need to be turned off, that is including my tortoise's UVB, my hedgehog's heat lamp, my dragon's UVB, and my chameleon's UVB. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, and if you have any ideas, please leave any ideas in the description below comments, sorry, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.